Whoa, 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 Bomb Squad? That's a bit over the top. These are just from HMV and they're limited edition. But what are they? Hi, my name's Cole. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to Monday Unboxing. Yes, it's Monday, which means it's a Blu-ray and 4K release day here in the UK. In today's video, I have a double HMV limited edition unboxings because these arrived Saturday, obviously because of Bank Holiday Monday. It should actually be three unboxings, but one of them has been delayed to the 7th of October. In this one here, this is a movie, this is A Quiet Place Part 2, limited edition still book. I'm gonna be opening this up and seeing what we're getting inside. And this one is an art print. I've never actually owned an art print before. And this one is the E.T. one. It's one of my favorite scenes on E.T. where Elliot is with E.T. and he's riding past that giant moon. So I'm gonna be opening this up and seeing what, what this is like. This is limited to 995 worldwide. The one that's been delayed, unfortunately, is the limited edition Die Hard print. I was so looking forward to that print to turn up. It is one of my favorite movies of all time. HMV did email me and said that manufacturers have delayed it till the 7th of October. So as soon as that arrives, I will do an unboxing on that just to take a look and see what the print is actually like. It does look very nice indeed. So unfortunately, I cannot do a triple unboxing, which is what I wanted to do, but I can do a double unboxing. If you're visiting my channel for the very first time, Carlinio9, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please consider subscribing and sharing if you can, because it really does help the channel out. And I'd really appreciate it as well. Thank you so much. Okay, there's only one thing to do. Let's get into this unboxing and see what we're getting inside these boxes. I'm gonna start with A Quiet Place Part Two. It's time. This is A Quiet Place Part 2 4K Limited Edition Steelbook. It was such a good movie to watch at the cinema. I'm so pleased I did get to see it on the big screen. Let's just take a look and see what this steelbook is like. Okay, so first impressions when we turn it over to the front. We have this red on the front cover, red and white. And then round to the back. I don't really know why I actually went for the steel book in this one. But I have done, so let's take a look. Let's get it out of the film so we can take a closer look. That's what I like about these live unboxings. You guys get to see this exactly the same time as me. Okay, so this is the front cover. It's actually better out the film. It's a very glossy kind of red on the front. If I turn it round to the back, I've actually just remembered why I actually ordered this in the steelbook. And the reason is I've actually got a quiet place on steelbook. So that's the reason for ordering it on steelbook. This is the back, there's loads of different extras. As I said, this was such a good movie to watch on the big screen. If we get rid of this J card, it's quite a thick J card, so that's quite nice to see. It's not a flimsy J card like they normally are, like the paper ones. This is actually card, so it's actually quite nice. Let's take a look at the steelbook itself, again on the front. If we take it round to the spine, it's clearly labelled A Quiet Place Part 2. This is going to go really well next door to A Quiet Place on the steelbooks. And if we go around to the back of the still book, we do have some artwork on the back, some high trees. Okay, let's take a look inside. Okay, so it's very disappointing so far on the actual artwork. There's no artwork on the discs, which is the first thing I've noticed. Inside cover art there is, and it's not the best inside cover art. If you look at my Quiet Place 4K steelbook, it's got so much better artwork than this. Okay, so let's take these discs out. So we get the 4K version. And we're also getting 
the Blu-ray version there as well. And that is the inside, sorry about the glare, that is the inside of the limited edition A Quiet Place Part 2 Steelbook. To be honest, I'm not actually impressed with that at all. I don't know what your views are, but I think it could have been a lot, lot better. I just don't like the inside. I do feel they could have done better. If I just bring A Quiet Place in, this is the first movie. I'm sorry about the clear. I'm going to take this out there and put this next door. You know, with this one here, you've got the red lights on the front. And if we open it up, we have white lights. And I think this one, I know this is the first movie, but I do think this one is better than the second because you do have artwork on these discs. And it's just a clever idea where you've got the red lights and they go to white lights when you get inside. So this is the first movie and the second movie, side by side comparison. What's your thoughts? I would love to hear. Please do put in the comments. Do you like this, this one here or do you prefer the first one? I really do like the first one. I really do, honestly. Okay, let's put these to the side and let's get into this one. Now, I've never opened one of these before, so please do bear with me. I might have to show you at the end. I don't know how big this print is. As I said earlier, this is the E.T. It's one of my favorite scenes in E.T. where Elliot's on his BMX and he's riding past that big moon. I just don't know how big this print's gonna be. If it's too big, I will show you guys at the end. These are limited to 995 worldwide. So how they're not sold out, I really don't know. Definitely going to have to frame this. Okay, let's get all rid of all this paper. Okay. The first thing I've come across is this certificate. Just down the bottom there, we've got 609 of 995. So you've got a nice certificate there from Universal. Take a look at this print itself. Wow, it looks really good. I'm gonna to have to show you guys at the end. I can show you a little bit there, but it doesn't do it justice. I'll be back. I have never seen so much tissue paper. Honestly, hats off to HMV, it was really well packed. Okay, let's take a closer look at this ET limited edition art print. I couldn't really show you when it was on the table because the camera was zoomed in so much. I had a funny feeling it would be. So I'm gonna show you guys now. This is my favorite scene from the movie. We have Elliot on his BMX with ET on the front there. And ET lifts the bike up over the trees and past that huge moon, as you all know from the movie. The colours are so nice. You've got blues and blacks there, but it really does stick out lovely. As I move closer to the camera, I hope it's not blurring up, but you can just see how good this print is. Anyone who buys one of these prints, they're gonna look so nice framed, which is what I'm gonna do with this one. I can't wait for the Die Hard one to show up and open that up and see what that's like. I can't believe they're not sold out either because 995 worldwide isn't a lot. If you look where my big finger is, it says number 609 from 995. That is handwritten, that is my number. And I will definitely be framing this because it's absolutely amazing. 
Also, we are getting this certificate with your number on there as well from Universal. If I just move it up. So it's a little nice certificate just to prove that it's real. Okay, let's take another closer look at these A Quiet Place Part 2, the new steelbook that's just been released and also A Quiet Place steelbook. This is my old one from the first movie. What's your views? Do you like this one better or this one better? You can tell I'm having a rant because I am so disappointed with this. Yes, I do like the artwork on the front cover and also the back as well. I don't like the inside. I feel it could be a lot better. With this one, we've got nice artwork on the front and on the inside where the lights change. And we've also got artwork on both discs as well, where with this one, there is no artwork on either of the discs. But I suppose a positive, it is a very good movie. They are very good movies. If I knew this, would I have bought the standard 4K version? Probably not because this one is in a steelbook as well. So I can't grumble too much. I'm just a very disappointed with this steelbook um, inside wise. Outside, absolutely brilliant, but inside, quite disappointed. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please do join me in the comments. I want to know your views. What steel book do you like best? The first one or the second one? What's your views on A Quiet Place Part 2? That steel book. Are you planning to get that steel book or are you planning just to get the 4K version or even the Blu-ray version? I would love to know. And also, what's your views on the HMV limited edition art prints i would love to hear thank you so much for taking the time if you like this video please do give it a like also don't forget to share and subscribe if you can because it really does help the channel out thank you so much i will see you guys next saturday take care bye bye unless you want to hear my last words i just did